discharged from hospital after contracting cholera, says bottled water has become expensive since the outbreak. Our brothers are dying, our mothers are dying, our sisters, children are dying because of this thing, yeah, cholera. There is the shortage of my mother, and then how can we going to treat ourselves for recovery on this thing, yeah, cholera? Tabi Sokoba, Eyewitness News, Haman Skral. Meanwhile, the Free State Health Department has confirmed that eight cases of cholera have been recorded in the province. This comes as the number of cholera-related cholera deaths rises to 20. The outbreak started in Hamanskral, north of Pretoria, last week after some residents were admitted to the Jubilee Hospital presenting symptoms of a gastrointestinal infection. Free State Health Department spokesperson Monlim Vambi. The MC for Health has sent her condolences to the family of the deceased and wished them strength and courage during their period of mourning. The department has sent a delegation to the family to comfort them and raise awareness about the disease to possibly prevent any further death. The Reserve Bank says inflation is still not under control and for this reason it has decided to hike the repo rate once again. Governor Lesetja Khanyaho has announced that the repo rate is being increased by 50 basis points to 8.25%. He also says inflation, estimated to be 6.2% for this year, should only begin to come down in a few months. Headline inflation is forecast to remain above the upper end of the inflation target range until the third quarter of this year. And as we observe Africa Day today, the free movement between African countries is being lauded as a great practice. Head of Special Project at the Institute for Security Studies says a borderless Africa would be the next reasonable step in the development of this continent. On Africa Day, Otilia Manganidze says free movement is already being practiced in some regions. If that is encouraged together with free trade, mind you, then our conversation a few years down the line, maybe a decade down the line, will be about Africa as a developed continent. A fine Friday in store for Gauteng tomorrow, highs of between 21 and 23 degrees. The top story this hour, the cholera outbreak causes panic in northern Pretoria. Eyewitness News on 947. For more, click ewn.co.za. begin to feel anxious or excited. Honest, deliberate, engaging, uncensored. High dosage administration can cause adverse reactions. And most importantly, independent in mind and execution. This is a normal response. Are you ready for our sports worldwide? Hi, everybody. It was really special when I heard that the Hall of Fame was giving me a trophy. If they're still giving me awards at 81, I must have done something right. We're our sports worldwide. We're our sports worldwide. Yes. Very quickly, we're about to go in there, but it's such an honor and a pleasure to have the champions here. Woo! Unbeaten. That's what Bamberi Sundowns decided to do. 15 wins in a row. And that's, ladies and gentlemen, we need to celebrate as a record because they've been about records. When you go to the goalkeeping department, Ronald Williams himself, 18 clean sheets. That's a man who goes to bed knowing that every night there's new linen. Robert. <laughs> but guys, I have a fair time. Send us a bit land. Come land the Rasantans. My funny happiness was a Rasantan. Come here. Come here. Robert Marawa, live on 947. Boomer FM, Rise FM, and Sowetan Live. Hashtag MSW.
Well, is it a celebration hangover? I don't know, eh? <laughs> There's never a hangover, I can tell you that much. Oh, we got more of a party happening again here today. Outside of the studio, like we saw yesterday. Hey, more and more champions keep coming through, keep pouring in to the Prime Media House. And today is absolutely no different. We will be celebrating, we celebrate them each and every time. We'll tell you all about it. And I've got to thank everybody else that uh, took part in the celebration yesterday, whether online, sending your voice notes, or just uh, simply calling through. Hey, 60 We'll tell you all about today's celebration as we reach 106 days to go before the Rugby World Cup. There's, uh, what, 92 days to go before the FIBA Basketball World Cup. And in Cape Town. 64 days to go before the Netball World Cup and 56 days before the FIFA Women's World Cup. So maybe that is something to celebrate there as well. We'll tell you some of the top stories making headlines here and internationally in a second. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. She's giving me joy, joy, joy. And just the other day, she was embarrassingly denied access to the Orlando Stadium. I'm staunch football fanatic Umama Joy. And guess what? She's been applauded for contributing immensely in helping Qatar deliver a spectacle as well as an unforgettable first World Cup to the Middle East. And so much so, she has now been awarded with the Certificate of Appreciation. Mama Joy Chauke. I'm so happy, Braro, because you know, even my name, Mama Joy, you are the one who named me because I am the best, and you know, I'm the best. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> She's giving me joy, joy, joy. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. All right, I'll tell you that uh, the Mumbai Indians recorded a 81-run victory over the Lucknow Super Giants in the Indian Premier League as they comfortably advanced to Friday's Eliminator against the Gujarat Titans at Ahmedabad. Now, Akesh Madhawal posted a stunning figure, or stunning figures of 5 for 5 as Mumbai thrashed Lucknow and Chennai. So the Super Giants bowler Naveen Ulhaq reflected on the side's defeat as well as him being pleased with the wickets. Yeah, it was an achievable target. Uh, the wicket was playing quite well. Uh, I think in between we couldn't handle the pressure, to be honest. Uh, we gave away like three to four wickets in quick succession. Uh, that was the turn- turning point in the game. Well, to be honest, uh, it was good. We could have done better as a team. Individual per- performances doesn't count. If at the end of the day, our team goal was to win the trophy. So my individual performance comes second. And it was a good season for me. Uh, I will learn quite a few things from this IPL and hopefully come back stronger. No, it's good wicket, sir, for pace bowlers. I, you saw that ball is not gripping and all is skidding. And I'm a slinging type of baller. The ball is going great. And I pitched the ball in hard length and all goes for the wicket. Moving on to football news now, England manager Gareth Southgate has left the door open for Ivan Tony to play at Euro 2024 despite the Brentford forward being banned from soccer until January due to the breaches of the English FA's betting rules. Last week, the 27-year-old who won his first cap against Ukraine in March was suspended from all football and also football-related activities for eight months until the 16th of January 2024. He was also fined £50,000 sterling uh, for 232 breaches of the FA's betting rules between 2017 and 2021. I have spoken with him. I don't know if that's allowed, by the way, but if it if it isn't, then they can ban me and not add to his. Uh, look, the ban is the ban. It is what it is. I think he recognised and accepted uh, the punishment. What bothers me is we've got to look after people and, you know, he's injured at the moment. What does he do about getting fit? What does he do? How do we give him some structure over the next few months that... He can develop himself or be a better person at the end of it or have experiences that he might not experience. So I don't like the idea that we just leave somebody that they're not allowed to be a part of the football community. I don't think that's how we should work. I don't think that's how the best rehabilitation programs would work. But he knows that we picked him because we felt until there was a charge, he should be allowed to play. And when he comes back, if he plays well, then he, we'll, we'll pick him. So 
Um, it won't have any bearing, but I think he'll have additional motivation through what he's experiencing, and I think he's a resilient guy with great character, and um, we're here to support him. From the way you're talking, it sounds like he still has a chance to make your squad for that tournament. Yeah, without a doubt. You know, it's, uh, it's not ideal because... Um, He's going to miss a, a large chunk of the season and you don't know after that sort of period out how physically he's going to adapt and how, uh, how he's going to play. But um, it's possible for him. There, there, there would still be time. And um, he, he's really impressed us with the way he's played. And uh, I like his personality. I like his belief and the way he goes about his job. So everything is still possible for him, I think. I spoke with him a week or so ago, um, a, a general catch-up. He's not happy physically with his condition, um, being carrying a hamstring problem. So he really wasn't in consideration. Um, so we, we didn't get to the point of whether he should be in, whether he should be out. Um, he, he doesn't think he's operating at the level that he needs. And uh, so that, that was the conversation I had with him. I think he has finished the season really strongly. Um, he can play in a couple of positions across that attacking line. Um, he's a goal threat. He's got um, nice ability and burst of speed to go past people and to take people out of the game with uh, dribbling skills. Um, so, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing him a bit closer and everybody I speak to talks brilliantly about him as a person as well. Still on Southgate. I mean, he thought that the racist abuse endured by Real Madrid forward Vinicius Jr. from the Valencia fans on Sunday was bad enough to force lasting change in the sport. Now, on Tuesday, the Spanish football competition committee that uh, fined Valencia 45,000 euros and also closed one of the sections of the Mestalla Stadium for five games in what is the strongest ever punishment for a club in a case of racism in Spain. It's a disgusting situation. I think it's so bad that actually it, it looks like it is going to force change. So I'm hoping that there will be something positive to come from it because um, I think it has taken a central story, not just in Spain, but across Europe and around the world. And that can only help to affect change. So if anybody suggests to me that we don't have a problem in society with racism, then there's a, another example of what we're dealing with. And more examples of people burying their heads in the sand, frankly. So I think he's dealt with it brilliantly. Um, I think he's got the support of the football community. I know some of our players have publicly mentioned that. Um, and we've, we've been in a similar situation to how he's found himself. Um, and I think, you know, I thought Carlo Ancelotti also dealt with it really well. So there is a lot to take from it. It looks as though action has been taken overnight to to deal with certain things and hopefully it's a story that doesn't just disappear in 24 48 hours without there being some significant change so the Premier League champions Manchester City were held to a one-all draw by Brighton last night with the manager Pep Guardiola describing the Seagulls as exceptional. Phil Foden gave them the lead midway through the first half only for Julio Asensio to pull the host level. Erling Haaland seemed to have produced the winner late on but it was ruled out for offside. That's good. It's the biggest compliment when you can say that I think for Brighton and ourselves. So I was a little bit worried about uh, how much we drop our, you know, what we have done the last four, five, six months, after 40 hours ago, we drank all the alcohol in Manchester. So, and and the way they play was outstanding against that team. Who you play in that way is so difficult. So they have an incredible team. Uh, we tried to have the ball many, many, many times, and we did it. And they have the quality to do it. And we were aggressive men to men. The both keepers are so important in that type of games. But uh, yeah, we did it. We did it really well. It's possible. They are a fantastic team, and in all departments. That's why are in the Europa League, well deserved. And and also we show why there is a why we are the best team in 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 England. I, I saw the games against uh, United, even the Carabao Cup final, uh, semi final, sorry, FA Cup against Liverpool many times and against Arsenal a few years ago. They are really good. What they do, they're really good. They have a quality. 
all of them, the young players, the experienced players. So in this league is Europa League, Brighton is Europa League is because they are exceptional. Otherwise, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. Yeah, the result, though, ensures that Brighton are going to be finishing sixth in the Premier League and also play in the group stages of the Europa League next season. Their manager, Roberto De Zerbi, couldn't contain his excitement. I'm happy because, first of all, we have to respect uh, our club, our fans, ourselves, normally. But uh, we have to, to show uh, the courage. We have to show... We believe in ourselves, we believe to, to win, if possible, against uh, the best team in the world. Uh, we needed one point, uh, we didn't receive a gift, we deserve to make a point today, we deserve to, to, to play Europe League uh, next year. I'm really proud because uh, I think today has been w one of the best games game in uh, in this season. But at the beginning, I didn't think uh, and I didn't uh, put my focus on the target, on the goal. Uh, I had to analyze the players. I had to analyze and to understand the the new league, the new country. So Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag says that he hopes that his side will get the job done in the English Premier League meeting with Chelsea at Old Trafford tonight in order to secure UEFA Champions League. That's the qualification for next season. United are three points clear of fifth place Liverpool and have got two league matches of the season remaining as the Red Devils bid to finish in the top four to secure a place in the European club football's biggest competition next term. How important is it to get this point, to get you over the line, to get into the Champions League? If you make that question, you already have your answer. But I, in, t in terms of the kind of the, the targets that you set yourself at the start of the season and, and what that achievement would, would be? It's, it's clear. We want to win every game. And that is what we do all season. So tomorrow we want to do the same. And we want to win the game. And play dominant football and get the job done. First, we have to, to win the game tomorrow. And so get the job done. And then it's about the judgment from others. If it's a good performance or a bad performance or a normal performance. Um, we are in a project. We want uh, to go back and to win trophies. <laughs> we win one trophy. We, we want to win more trophies. We uh, want to compete with the best. But yeah, it's we are still in a journey and we are still in the journey, uh, but we think we are in the right direction, uh, but it can all be, always be better because good is not good enough. If you are not available, you can't score. Eh? And when he was available, um, we play better. And this, so this team is winning games. Uh, he's also scoring goals then, so, but he has to be available. It looks like, but yesterday uh, he returns in training and uh, he, he, he looks quite fit, but uh, we have to see today uh, what's the, um, yeah, I say, what is the outcome from the training? How did he recover it? And then we will make our choices. Talk about choices, eh? The Chelsea caretaker manager Frank Lampard insisted that he does not know if Mason Mount has played his last game for the club or not. Also reflecting on the exclusion of Raheem Sterling from the England squad. I lost calls. Uh, I don't know. It's, you know, it's not, it's not my, it's not my answer to make. It's probably between Mason and the club. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a similar situation to. Um, approaching Manchester City, albeit they won the league the night before, but they're a high-level team who, are on, you know, in a really positive way, Manchester United will have the, that. So it's the same point from uh, from how I approached going into City and how the players approach it. More importantly, in terms of if people think we haven't got much on the game, then the players have to show them that there is. In terms of their personal and collective um, approach to it in the game, because we'll obviously have to go there with a, a very good mentality because they're a good team that are fighting for something that you know we've fought for many years and now we're not in that position, so players need to show. No, I, I think the, the, the stat that you ruled off says it, doesn't it? I think, is that a record? I presume it's a record. Um, so I think, you know, there's, there, there are understandable factors to it in terms of the, the, the brand of the Premier League and what it means to teams to stay in there. So um, I don't think it's viewed that differently now if the first person that, um, receives the, the the blame, if you want to put it that way, is the coach. And if you understand that when you go into these jobs, then that's probably a good thing to understand it. Well, the, the usual um, 
requirements and the basics, which I've spoken about a lot since I've been here, and they're not easy to switch on. You have to train and prepare, and it has to be like a standard set. And unfortunately, we haven't met that standard um, this season regularly enough. Uh, and in my time here, the one thing I can say is that I've seen probably some reasons why. Um, but in the short term, for two games that are left now in three days, um, the players have to reach the standard and level of performance. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know the, the exact details of the conversation between Raheem and Gareth and, their, you know, where that sat at all. So um, all I do know is that Raheem is obviously a, a top level player who's played for England for a lot of time. So. Well, question marks and question marks. There'll be none here in studio. After the break, we celebrate more champions. Send us your WhatsApp voice notes. Marawa Sports Worldwide Live. In three, two, one. On 947, Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live. Hashtag MSW. Are you looking to buy, sell or trade in your car online? Type www.motors.cars into your web browser, that's M-O-T-U-S and you'll be transported to a one-stop car shop. With thousands of new and used cars from more than 300 dealerships across the country, you'll find everything you are looking for. Visit us at www.motors.cars. Motors.cars. You click, we car. If you love shooting family portraits like me, you need to capture every moment with blurless day and night pics. That's why the new Samsung Galaxy A34 5G from Vodacom would be perfect. Take the hint and spoil Mamzo. Make it hers on a 1.2 gig red core data plan for only 299 Rand per month over 36 months. Plus add 29 Rand per month and get a Samsung Galaxy Watch for Bluetooth and free buds live. Available in store or online. T's and C's apply. Further together. Vodacom. You're not just a parent, you're a lifeguard. A chef. And sometimes even a guidance counselor. Being a parent can be challenging. That's why New Panado Pediatric Syrup 5 mil sachets are here to make the job easier. They're really convenient to pack and easy to use, so you're always prepared for pain and fever anytime, anywhere. Panado, a dose of care. Do you just want to shout? Because the power went out and the washing's not done and supper hasn't even begun. I shame South Africa. You need a reason to smile. So get smiling with these deals from Spa. Two liters Spa Sunflower Oil, $64.99. And Liquor Fruit 100% Fruit Juice Blend, two liter assorted. Rewards customers pay $32.99. Valid until 4 June while stocks last. T's and C's apply. Spa, wear for smiles in my business you know i was always told look before you leap i'm more like uh leap before you look because if you spend too much time looking you'll end up not leaping you know and besides the vantage point from the air is much better so leap man leap become a sage customer like miles and set up your business to fly with our helpful accounting hr and payroll tools visit sage.com today sage helping business flow Nine, nine, four, seven, music, life. At Shell, we're all about progress. We understand the further we go, the further you go. New Shell Fuel Safe is designed to give you better fuel economy so you can drive further, making sure there's always more left in your tank. 15 kilometers more to be exact, because when efficiency matters, so does what you fill up in your tank. Choose Shell Fuel Safe for your engine so you can drive further. Actual effects and benefits may vary. Visit shell.co.za for more information. Go well. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. Because the coach is here, the players are here. Sipumbule, I see him. Cassius is here. Kulisa Mudao is also here. Kulisa Mudao is there from being a card collector to being a Sundowns champion to being a Bafana Bafana player. A lot of things have changed. The mentality. How soon did Coach Rolani get into you? You told me that uh, I believe in you and I think you can play in this too. We do fight a lot. Which is even, a good thing. Even even today we're fighting. What are you fighting <laughs> about now? What are you fighting about, Coach? I enjoy oh, the fights, actually. Do you know, sometimes they actually play better when they're upset with me. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, true. Boil. that's true. Yeah. So yeah. you take it out on the field? Yeah. But with, with him in mind. Room, Hashtag MSW.
Well, I think outside of New Year and Christmas, we haven't celebrated as much the successes of teams within the South African football associations, whether it is under the Premier Soccer League or under the uh, Disky Challenge, as we are going to be doing tonight. Looking forward to it and also your participation. Remember, the number in studio is 011-838-947. Listening on the radio, this is 947. Also live on Vuma FM, Rise FM, and on Sowetan Live. And we're live on YouTube. So you can listen, watch, and you can comment on the YouTube channel. Well, I tell you what, three years ago, if I'm not mistaken, Super Sports were not even counted amongst the teams that could cause a threat in the Disky Challenge League. I think if I'm wrong, the coach will tell me. He's here. I don't know why he's looking nervous, though, because he's won. Hmm? It's almost like he's going to be playing tomorrow. And that's simply because the 2020-2021 season, Supersport were drawn in the stream. I think it was stream one for the DSTV Disky Rewired Tournament, as it was called then, alongside Amazulu. Uh, they were there with Stellenbosch, uh, alongside Maritzburg United, TS Galaxy. There was also Chipper United and the Golden Arrows. And you'll remember, though, that their performance left much to be desired. They finished the tournament bottom, rock bottom of their group, with a mere five points from seven games. And of course, they were eliminated. Now, the beauty about history, and at times it won't even repeat itself, and you can fast forward to today. I mean, they are the new Disky Challenge champions. And they said, you know what, we're going to bring the trophy to show all of you. So it's here in studio. So if you're watching on YouTube, you'll see it. Uh, somebody, I won't even mention their names, commented and said, that is a much better looking trophy. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> held it. I don't know how heavy it is compared to the one we were lifting yesterday. And I mean, what a better way to achieve that under the watchful eye of someone who's literally uh, become part of the furniture at Matsatsanza. He's a club legend. He's an ex-skipper. Tabo September, you are here in studio. Firstly, congratulations, champ. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. And um, good evening to the listeners. Have you even celebrated? I know you've been running around doing all sorts of interviews. But as Tabo September taken a deep breath and said, yes, I've done it. We've done it. Not really. Not really. It hasn't really sinked in. I think um, we've been doing the, the interviews and the road shows and stuff. And, uh, you know, coming so close last season and then yeah. ha having to do it with a game to spare. Just, I don't know why it's, it's not sinking in. Um, but, yeah, kudos to the players, to everyone that was involved to making this mm -hmm. a success. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys made it difficult for yourselves last season, didn't you? I mean, when Stellenbosch clinched it, that was like a point difference. What, what's been the big difference this season? A good start. I think last season we had a bad start and then we had a, a good run. Yeah. Um, Ten games unbeaten towards the end of the season. And then that's where we we ended up one point short from Stellenbosch. And that this time around we started well. Yeah. We were too short from what we wanted to be at halfway. And... Um, yeah, when we when we finished off, we finished off really good. I think that's why we had a game to spare. I think yeah. uh, with all the hubbles in the in the towards the end, but um, yeah, these players, man, they I'm so proud of them. What does this mean for your coaching career? Because you win one of these, and all of a sudden people start eyeing you and saying, "Hey, can we snatch this guy?" I know it's difficult <laughs> to leave Super Sport United when you've been a part of the family for as long as you've been a part of the family. But what does it mean for you on a personal achievement side of things? I think it's it's huge um, to start like this um, as a coach. Um, when it comes to uh, what the club has been missing, I yeah. think um, the club. This is the only trophy that the club has been missing in terms of the development and. Uh, to be the one that brings it in, I think I must keep Gavin close to me because he came back and um, we managed, because the last time I won a league title was with him and then mm -hmm. when he came back now um, as a coach, I had my first um, title with these young guys and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great achievement. Because he's believed in you all along, Gavin Hunt. I mean, he's not somebody uh, that you just bump into the street with and you have a conversation. I, I think even as a player, you would interview Gavin, he'd always say to you, You'd always say something positive about you as a leader, you about a football player. But now you are matching 
each other on the coaching side of things. Are, are you learning much from him? Oh, very much. I think uh, when we started, we didn't start well, beginning of the season. And then uh, he was in PE and he watched one of our games in yeah. PE when we played Chipa United. And half time he came to the changing room. And uh, that was the difference for our season. And uh, he told these boys that, um, you know, this level you need to press high. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was wind in PE and there was a certain way that he wanted us to play. And that was the change of, 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 of the season for us. And um, we had a good run after that. Um, yeah, coming to training at half for six in the morning for the first team, it's always nice because you get to talk about the the old days mm -hmm. and um, that brushes off and he will tell you how he did, what he was thinking when he was doing certain things and uh, and how he's, he's, a, he's, a, yeah, he's, a, he's a different character, you know. Um, you learn so much from him because he's thinking of his mm -hmm. feet mm -hmm. and um, that, that how we shift players even the first team with the players that we have now, mm. he had to bring in some players. And uh, from the season we had last season to what we had now this season, you can see that um, mm. he's, a, he's, a, he's a coach that um, puts a lot in, in, into the game. Mm. And uh, it shows with, with the results that we got. I mean, to qualify for CAF um, with the budget that we have as a, as a, as a club. And um, it, it just speaks to to the guy um, and yeah I'm so proud to be to be still working close to him yes. and I'm learning a lot you don't have a budget smaller budget than, than other teams but yeah we do have a budget but it's not <laughs> <laughs> it's not one to be really going to Kev but yeah we, we are in Kev okay um, but we'll, we'll chat to Gavin later on uh, we'll put him on the line he's already on holiday he doesn't mess around Gavin the season <laughs> ends and he's gone yeah you're not gonna find him he's gone gone no, gone, gone gone and he and he deserves it because yeah. again he's put in such a, a hard shift and uh, he's, he's also been able to you know snap a play or two I think Tapelo Maseko has gone uh, Neo who's sitting right next to you Mr. Rapu is here um, he's also been snatched by Gavin but let's talk now firstly welcome to the show and congratulations man uh, thank you thank you very much much good evening to the listeners as well how are you feeling as a champ now ah oh, good i just can't believe that i won the title with super sport for the first time yeah just unbelievable and, and i just wish to wish uh to win more with super sport and the time i spend with the club yeah and first time that is history for super sport your coach will tell you in eight years this has never happened and you were part of the mix that also has a little bit more significance than just Jay winning. Yeah, yeah. I think it's unbelievable, you know. Um, coach has been the skipper of the club long time ago. He knows how it feels to win the league. Um, and I think he motivated us this season. Obviously, becoming second last season, it was <laughs> heartbreaking, <laughs> you know. So um, we had to capitalize and win this season. Yeah. And... We knew that what we needed to do this for the season, um, start strong, like Coach said, mm -hmm. and the league will be ours. But as, as a football player, do you feel it as much as the coach does? I, I can tell when you say it was heartbreak. To what level was it heartbreak for you? And what did you want to tell yourself mentally you wanted to do differently this season to change that? <sighs> I think that last game, actually, I nearly cried even, you know. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, um, as the chance as well, we knew that we need to start strong this season for us to not be in the situation that we were last season, you know. Um, and I think the, the gents just had the motivation to, you know, work hard each and every game, play it like it's a final. Mm -hmm. And I think that actually helped us from the get go. You know. Were you worried initially in the early stages of the season because, you know, Cape Town City kind of led? Uh, for some time. I think they spent about 13 weeks uh, at the top of that table. Did you feel that it was their season or you felt that they could be a chance? Because it kind of rotated. So it was Cape Town 13 weeks at the top, then Orlando Pirates, uh, who had a good run as well last season, uh, also came through. They spent a little bit of time as well. Uh, I think it was match day 21 when things did change around. But what was your feeling about Cape Town City's initial form? <sighs> Though I mean, I thought we actually lost it there. Eh? Really? So, you know, I thought we actually lost it. But, you know, coach, uh, just each and every game told us, chance is not over. Yeah. You can keep doing this. Um, we know our streak last season, we went 10 games without losing. So I thought as soon as we get the, the, the gear in and we started going, no team could touch us. So, and yeah. 
as soon as I saw that we caught up to um, Cape Town City, I knew we could do this. But you were not worried about Pirates at all? I was a little bit too honest. I was. Yeah. And, you know, they're a great team. They played well this season as well. And also when they were first there, we just knew that we need to focus on ourselves more. Just mm-hmm. win all of our games. And I think we, we would have a chance to, you know, win the league and make it there. I think it's a, it's a beautiful thing. For a lot of um, people, again, Tabu, that haven't seen Neo play, um, I had a bit of a summary of his major attributes. So you can add some more. Because I'm just trying to... You know, sometimes people watch with one eye this football thing. They say that, you know, he's a fast-thinking left-footed fullback. Good perseverance skills. Now, perseverance means that this man does not rest. He's got an engine on him. Uh, trainee less fit. Also, great distribution abilities. Excellent in game vision. An excellent team player. Composure is of utmost importance because good ball retention skills, uh, key along with superior understanding of the game. So this says to me, this is a versatile player. How do you describe him? <laughs> we, we, we're we still thinking about it. I think Kevin is like, I think now he's a midfielder. Oh, wow. he's, not a, he's not a left back um, because he's doing things that are so good that yeah. infield players, the one that are in front of him can't do and you can see passes. I mean, watch this guy put in a diagonal ball for, mm. for Tender Matozzi. And um, it's difficult for PSL players to do that. And he's only 17. And when he does that, and it's, it's like, wow. You know, and um, I think um, that's, that's, where, that's where Gavin sees him. That's where I see him as well. I think he, he as much as you speak of the, the, the good parts, I think mm-hmm. defensively, He's a he's a he's a forward thinking player. Okay. So you are limiting him now. He needs to first start by defending. As a defender, you need to first not concede goals. But for him, he wants to create goals. He wants to score goals. He so this left full back position, he, he he's being wasted there. We we've realized now that um, we need we need to take him to the next level. And the How next do you level feel about it? Is, hey, I'm cutting your coach off now. <laughs> I, I want to hear you because they're discussing <laughs> you. This is about you, your future. Where are you feeling most comfortable? And, and and given the plans that they might have for you for next season, how do you feel? I'm very happy to you know um, play everywhere where coach puts me. Yeah, I'll always deliver. Um, and I'm actually happy to be, I can play defense, attacking midfielder as well, left wing. Just happy to be playing there. Wherever coach puts me, I'll always deliver for him. So the adjustment is is nothing to you because those strengths that coach talks about, you know, your agility, your intelligence, your awareness, distribution, passing, uh, I think also the one-on-one defense, free kicks, composure, all of those things that he cites are good with you. Uh, you feel you can take them to any position? Yeah, eh? yeah I think I can do that. Oh, man. <laughs> now, and that's the one thing we got to applaud the Reserve League for, is that of showcasing youth. We're very allergic in the Premier Division yeah. to unleash a 17-year-old and say, take the responsibility on your shoulders. Where does this mental strength, do you think, come from that Neo has and he possesses? And even just his answer, I, I would say I'm talking to an old dopey of 27 years <laughs> old, but it's also just the brain that for me is intriguing. I think the attributes are coming from the family. I think... Uh, if Neo were to speak for himself, I don't want to speak for himself on, yeah. that, on that level because he, he needs to put it out there. It's going to make more sense. But um, to have the support that he's got and what his mom is doing and the support that he's got as a family and that just just, just speaks of the drive that he's got inside mm-hmm. of him. And um, he's not the only one. I think the players in the, in the, in the, in the super sport team will, will have different stories and they all lead up to they've got this thing inside of them that mm. drives them to it's not just I want just I just want to play football there's a drive that 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 is there and um, yeah I think Neo will tell the story better than me because <laughs> it's a beautiful story I feel about the family yeah 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 okay, how, okay, how okay. it's all about yeah okay hold on hold on to that because we don't want to mess it around now we're gonna find out what is this family story 
uh, that coach is talking about now. Find out after this. Marawa Sports Worldwide Live. In three, two, one. On 947, Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live. Hashtag MSW. Business is so much more than a nine to five. It's all the blood, sweat, and tears you put into building your dream. That dream wasn't built in a day, but it was built with a Bucky. Not just any Bucky, a tech savvy Bucky with toughness built into its DNA and a tailgate that transforms into a workbench. Put your best Bucky forward every day in the next gen Ford Ranger single and supercar. Unlimit your world. Visit Ford.co.za to find out more. How can I get paid easily? If you're in business, you've asked yourself this. At FNB, there's a way for everyone to get paid, and you get to choose. Receive payments using SpeedPoint, or use Speedy QR to generate a scannable QR code on the FNB app. Your customers can even pay using their card or phone directly on your compatible Android smartphone when you use Speedy app. Your business needs payments, so join the Changeables and get the help you need. FNB is a division of First Rand Bank Limited, an authorized financial services and credit provider. T's and C's apply. The Mars Singer South Africa is here. Join me in Pop Ops and the panel of detectives Jay Something, Sumizi, Sotelo Shozi, and Skumba as we try and guess which celebrities are hiding behind the masks. 16 of your favorite celebrities will be doing everything in their power to hide their identities. The Mars Singer South Africa starts Saturday, the 3rd of June on SABC 3 at 6.30 p.m. with a rebroadcast on SABC 1 at 8 p.m. as well as Thursdays at 9.30 p.m. in association with Endolex. Okay, um, <laughs> skip the... Khopela. With KFC Q Skip, order and pay online to get in and get out. No queue when you collect, only on the KFC app. And town, Tut Bank, Portuguese Festival, 26 to 28 May at the Nasrec Expo Center. Authentic Portuguese food and lots of entertainment like Mikasa, Lofi, Kurt Darren, Lee Cole from Portugal, João Quintino and many more. Lots to do for the whole family. Tickets at CompuTicket or Checkers. Safe and secure parking. Força Portugal. Vamos à Festa Portuguesa. Nasrec Expo Center, 26 to 28 May. <laughs> So I'm dancing with my eyes closed. Subtraction, the new album by Ed Sheeran, the last in Ed's mathematical album era. Out now. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. All right, very quickly, we've got a bottle going there, but it's such an honor and a pleasure to have the champions here. Woo! Because the coach is here, the players are here, Sipombule, CM, Cassius is here, Kulisa Modao is also here. Sipo, let me start off with you, Baba. Firstly, congratulations, man. Uh, I would say finally. Yeah, finally. It's the trophy that I've been waiting for also. So I think, uh, as I said, on, on live after the game when we won when we were lifting I said I'm feeling scrumptious <laughs> <laughs> what does it feel like to be scrumptious scrumptious <laughs> it's, 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 it's a feeling that you can't even explain sometimes <laughs> I, I think I think he's just nicknamed himself Upra Scrumptious <laughs> I don't even really know what that means no one knows what it means but it's provocative hashtag MSW Hashtag MSW. Yeah, the holiday boy is on the line. Uh, so let's uh, check out uh, the head coach of Super Sports United, Coach uh, Gavin Hunt, uh, joining us live from Cape Town. Coach, thank you for joining us. Welcome. Hello, boss. Oh, you! I've got the champions here. You've already started your celebrations down in Cape Town on their behalf, eh? 
Yeah, yeah, what can you do? Uh, the, the celebrations are finished already. We're speaking of the new season. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tabo and Neo are both in studio. And I thought, you know, let me quickly bring you on the line. Uh, you've also had a role okay. to play. He's uh, also mentioned you, the motivation that you gave, especially in the game against Chipper and PE, coming into the change room, uh, chatting to the <laughs> lads and so on. Uh, but also just okay. you having access to Tapelo Masako, uh, you know, coming through to the senior team and also oh. Neo, who's here, uh, also coming through. What have you made and observed, though, Kevin, in, in terms of just your achievement this season? Yeah, we have a little, uh, we are a little bit uh, unique because we do uh, the first team and the, and the, and the district team during the act quite a bit. So, I mean, Tabo and Roscoe work with me every day before they go. They train, you know, later with the, the district team. So, you know, it's, it's, listen, there's no right or wrong in football. There's pretty much sharing ideas and... You know, but I think I think the most important thing that we're on, we sort of on on the same page where we want the game to be played, and that's important for 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 their team and our team. Or just you know, and then it's, when the players do come through, that they 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 pretty much got you know an idea about the way we think and the way we want to play. So I think it's important. But they've done great, you know. It's important. Um, they're such a small squad. Um, at times I thought she's like up there, two or three on the bench. Mm. So um, brilliant. You know, um, can't commend them enough. But look, the, 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 the biggest part now is can they, can those players kick on, and uh, and you know can we bring them to the first team? That, that's the most important thing. Yeah, and and obviously the more you you kind of pinch into the senior team, the more you deprive them uh, of. Or do you think they have enough reserve where they can still tap on, regardless of how many players get promoted? Well, it's, it's, you know, you, you know, you'd always like to take the whole team, but I mean, it doesn't work like that because sometimes, you know, in football clubs all around the world, you might have a player at uh, say 24, 25 playing in his position, who's really coming into his own, and then you know, you've got a youngster at 18, 19, he might be blocked, his path might be blocked. So, at least like that, it's going to happen. Uh, it doesn't mean that they're not good enough, but um, those things happen in football. It happened to you know when I was playing as a kid coming into the youth, and so, that's what football's all about. You cannot take the whole team, but mm. we'll do the best we can and uh, look at everybody and give them a little fair shot. Yeah, I think now you wanted to say thanks to the coach as well. He's on the line, Tabo. You'll have a quick word as well. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. I just want to thank Coach Kevin for giving me the opportunity in the first team. Um, I just thank you very much, Coach, to, 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 to you and the staff and Coach Grant and everyone there, Coach Tabo, yeah, Coach yeah. Roscoe, um, yeah. to showcase my talent. Thank you, Coach. Oh, man, you sound like a man already. <laughs> <laughs> it's that deep voice, Kevin. It's that deep voice, man. Hey, the good old radio <laughs> legend. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Rob, that's the most important thing, Ken. Can we take this voice to become men, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and a guy like Mayo, I mean, the future ability. Uh, but he knows. He's played a few games in the first two uh, And he did very, very well. But obviously... Um, you know, now it's a real chance because now it's, it's sort of, I don't want them to go back. You know, we need to take them forward now. And mm. how do we do that? But they would, you know, I think that he's, I mean, a guy like Mayo is with huge ability and uh, we need to make him a gang toughness. And there's a lot of, he's going to have to do a lot of more defending for us for the first team. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were just talking about how versatile he is as a player and how you might be using more in a midfield position. But we'll chat about that, Gavin, when you come into studio. I know you're in a little break now. Okay. And when you're back, we will okay. do a season review with you. But thank you so much for picking up on our call. No, no problem. Rob. Joy, the two great, the great uh, guys, they Pablo and Roscoe, they're saying, okay, thank yeah. you, well done. And uh, we've, I know we've got the right people in charge there. And, uh, and, and uh, let's wait for the next group of coming through, the next group from the under-19. Yeah. Oh, beautiful stuff, man. Gavin Hunt, uh, the head coach there of uh, Super Sports United, the, the senior team. Um, before I go to anybody else, um, I've got somebody here now uh, who's a neighbor uh, of yours. They've known you since you were a kid. <laughs> Megan, good evening. Hi, Robert. Hi, it's Megan speaking. Um, yeah, we've been listening, the whole family. Mm-hmm. Hi, Neo. Hello, hello, Megan. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm good on yourself. Fine. So, Robert, I just want to say, um, I know now on a personal level, since I say from the age of about 10, and he's mom Violet, and Neo is the most unbelievable young man. Hmm. Kind, gentle, an absolute gentleman, 
and um, I think about all very handsome. So, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just want to praise him and just he's come up and um, we, as a family, watch, we watch his soccer on TV and um, just so incredi- incredibly proud of you, know. And um, yeah, I just want to say well done. And um, yeah, we're going to carry on watching you on TV. And yeah, I think great things are going to come from you, my boy. So well done. And um, the Haas family are here to support you. Yeah, 100%. Thank you very much, Megan. I really sure. appreciate you joining the line. Yeah. Oh, you must be proud, Megan, because you heard Coach Gavin Hunt. He says, you know what, I'm stealing this champ. He's going to be part of the senior team now. No moving backwards. And that a thing for you as somebody that's watched him grow and the family. Uh, that must say something about his resolve. Well, yeah. I just, um, so I've seen him from a little boy playing in the streets. Um, we've got two children, much younger than now, but he's over the fence. We've got a, a, a fence in between us. Um, and I'm sure you can remember now jumping over the fence and playing with Jamie and Chad and showing them your skills. And I know now, uh, not so much now, but you used to skateboard down the road in our little um, area where we stand. So and never a day goes by. Well, I don't see him that much now because yeah. he's so busy, but when he sees me, he always greets me, waves to me, asks me how I am. So, yeah, um, and manners make up a man. So, yeah, that's Oof. just, yeah. Well, that's that's that's. I think that's great to hear. I'm sure when you talked about skateboarding, coach, I was saying, no, 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 no more of that. We don't want to risk injuries. So, but thank you so much, Meg, and thanks for sharing that, man. It really, really oh, gives Peter. a different twist Peter, to thanks, it. Thanks, and Neo, sure, we here for you. Wow, thank you, oh, story. Yeah. Incredible story. Thank you so much, Megan. Uh, I'll come back to that family story that you promised us. Uh, I want to take Miguel first, also live on the line from Pretoria. Uh, Miguel, you want to shoot? Welcome. Good evening, Rob. How's it? Oh, man. I'm, I'm just blessed. You know, two days, two champions in studio, live. What more would a person want? It's fantastic. Rob, the only problem is we need to get you a two-hour show. The one-hour show is too short. <laughs> Oi, I know. I've been here having people do it doing for that for, for the longest time, Miguel. But hey, you know what? We get to enjoy it. The show ends, man. It's too uh, short. Speak to, the, speak to the boss of the day. Uh, you've spoken. You're the boss. I only say the listener's the boss. Anybody else there is a are. facilitator of a process. Otherwise, you've spoken. Thank you so much. You wanted to say something about Tabo? Yes, I just wanted to say, I, I doubt you'll remember, but this was years ago when Coach Gavin Hunt was at his first stunt, or his first stint, sorry, at uh, Superfort United. I went down for a trial um, back at the Caledonian Stadium in Pretoria. It was organized by uh, the late, great Thomas Marikache. And we had a friendly game. I'm not quite, not quite sure who we played against, but I slotted in at left back. And I have to say, Coach Tavo was the most, nicest guy I've ever met in the football pitch. He came to me, asked me what my name was, what position I play, and he sort of just guided me, even though I was a child, an outsider. And I just, I could see from that day that he, he had actually to become a good coach, and he proved it with the distance side. So I just want to say congrats to him. And then my question that I posed to you on Monday, what is Sundown's the difference in yeah. Super Sports United seem to be catching on now, and it, it's nice to see. Yeah. No, beautiful stuff, Miguel. I'll ask you to listen on the radio. Uh, Tabo, you want to respond to that? Because he did pose a, an interesting question, which was an apt question. It was important because he says, what are Sundowns doing differently that other teams aren't doing? And I said, investing. That was <laughs> the only word I said. That's the best word to use. I think we, we've been good in, in developing and um, Sundowns has been good in, in investing. Mm-hmm. And... Um, that's that's where the Newell's, um you know, Newell is going to be one of the best. And the fear is that, of course, Sundowns will come and poach. And, um, Are you hinting? With the, no, 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 no. I'm just saying it's business. With, sure. with the right money, um, you have to let go. If you can't make the player, you know, you want the player to, to also have a good life after football. And um, what what we need to do is make sure that we we keep on producing for for to keep super sport at where they are now yeah. is for us to keep producing the the best players in, in in the country and winning the ddc will attract the best players i think 
um, to develop. But yeah, that's the difference. And uh, the other teams need to catch up. I think um, sponsors, um, you need to get good yeah. financial backup. Um, for that, but you, yeah. hey man, you're super sport united, but now you're you, you financial backers. You, you, you. Yo. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, yeah, let's, let's leave that. Uli Zali Sebatu on um, watching on YouTube says, uh, What are Neo's ambitions? I mean, you know, many South African footballers, are, after being promoted to the senior team, uh, they're not dreaming of the international move anymore and ending their careers here in South Africa. He says, I hope not for now. You got bigger dreams than just the senior team, I'm yeah. sure. Right? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, just want to showcase my side. I want to go overseas. Yeah, where specifically? Way. I just, anyway, you know, yeah. as long as I get the experience playing overseas, and I think that's one of my biggest dreams to play overseas, you know, and just experience the atmosphere out there. I think that's, I, that's one of my dreams. The family, um, I think Tabo touched on it before the break. Tell me more, because when Megan called, mentioned the family, mentioned Mum Violet and everything else, how have they played? Give me a, a bit of background there. Yeah, so I live with the family, the driver family. Yeah. They've been so good to me and my mom. Um, obviously my mom played a big role in my life, becoming my father, my mother. And I just wanna make her proud. Sure. And you know, Change, change my family's background in Rustenburg sitting, um, make them proud there, and just change my family's background name and just make them, just make them proud of me, you know. Yeah. And the driver family, of course. What was mom doing, in terms of work? Now she works for for the driver family. Since she works for them and they take uh, care of us and yeah. they help us a lot. It's almost like. They family, they yeah, they are, to they your, are family, yeah, yeah. yeah, they are a huge family, and I really appreciate them for that. Incredible, well done to them. And then Rob, uh, Kevin Hunt, uh, top of September, and uh, Neo, uh, coach, uh, I still believe that you are not a problem at Kaiser Chiefs, and your campaign at Super Sports is testimony to that. And it was remarkable to see how you were able to build such a strong competitive team after you have lost key players like Ronwen, Mbule, and Mugwena. And my question to you, coach, is uh, what did you do to rebuild and be able to get the best of what Tyson Sajwayo after a terrible spell at uh, Orlando Pirates? And to coach Tabo September. Do you have any ambitions of coaching at the highest level? It's the Boko Yeah. Wishing you all the best. Uh, thank you so much, gentlemen. Hi, Robert. It's Abi Muloy from Naturena. Let me congratulate uh, Tabo September and his team uh, for winning the DSTV uh, Disky Challenge. Um, please ask the coach if uh, he is uh, intending to pursue uh, his uh, coaching badges and how many uh, youngsters are they going to promote to the first team, seeing that uh, Super Sport, they, they believe in the youngsters. Thank you very much. As Miguel said, time is the enemy. Lots of questions, no time. Maybe let's quickly squeeze in. Uh, coaching badges, uh, the resurgence of Tyson to winning accolades at your awards the other night. What's happened there? First, let me let me answer the badges. I think um, it's all up to Safa. I think um, B hasn't been done in South Africa since 2017 or so. But yeah, um, working my D to C, uh, waiting now to, to get the, the B. But um, with Tyson, I think... You know what Gavin did with Supersport, which is the best, is to bring players that really still have the, had the appetite to, to, to play football and uh, to give them an opportunity to 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 bring back their careers. And um, yeah, Tyson, to win the play of the season when you were seen as the... Uh, right off. You know, he's, oh. he's, he's something else as a, as a professional. I mean, he had a photo with Neo when Neo was still a baby. When Neo was like 12 or 13 year old and um, and you know seeing them together playing in the same team and him leading Neo yeah. to to a position three yeah uh, it's it's incredible so uh, I believe that uh, when Tyson scores Neo goes up to him and says happy Father's Day <laughs> 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 
<laughs> guys, yeah. I got no time. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Neil. Good to see you, Tabo. Thank you so much indeed, guys. Go on and celebrate. You deserve it. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Marawa Sports Worldwide Live In three, two, one. on nine four seven Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live. Hashtag MSW.